In the heart of Vancouver on July 15th, Vancouver's Rosewood Hotel, Georgia, after dramatic restoration, opened its doors to the first guests, luggage and all. This legendary building is back with lots of fabulous history and walls filled with some secrets. Steve Halliday is the managing director of Rosewood Hotel, Georgia. He has been in senior positions in the hospitality world for almost 30 years. It is my pleasure to welcome Steve Halliday back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Well, thank you. I'm delighted to be here in Studio 4. It's a, a, a great uh, opportunity for us to uh, share together some stories of the, the past and, and look towards the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, uh, we're right uh, into the future right now with the Rosewood Hotel, Georgia. So. You sure are. And uh, uh, we do go back. We do. You and me. Uh, first job here. Yours. My in the first hotel job game. in the hotel world was uh, the Ramada Inn at 1110 Howe, which is now another brand. Uh, and then I went to the Western Bayshore in 1965 and uh, started my career really from there. Went mm -hmm. to Toronto, Edmonton, back to Vancouver to open the beautiful Pan Pacific uh, for the World Expo in 1986. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Southern California uh, with our uh, company then, and then over to Singapore, where I spent five wonderful years. And then I came back to Vancouver and took uh, another journey with the uh, Pan Pacific. And now my journey with Rosewood Hotel Georgia is, uh, is started mm -hmm. about 18 months ago. What are the major changes in the business of the hotel business uh, from the time you started at yes. the Ramada Inn yes. to now? Well, the big difference, if you look from the customer side, is mm -hmm. the customer is in charge now of how uh, he or she wants to buy a hotel product. Uh, or any type of product, particularly in the hotel business. When people shop today for hotels, uh, what we're seeing is they, they have their choice. They go through the different websites, but the best way to go is through the hotel website. And people today we're finding are, are looking more for the luxury brands versus the uh, kind of the sure. low end tier because people work hard today. They're, they're, they're fast paced business. So when someone's going to go on a small vacation, instead of going to, uh, you know, the Toronto last ditch or, motel. <laughs> yes, whatever. Yes. Uh, they, they just, uh, you might be living in Victoria or Nanaimo or Seattle or Penticton. Mm -hmm. They decide, well, let's go to uh, Vancouver sure. and uh, we'll spend three or four days in Vancouver. So that's one change. We're seeing uh, lots of that happening. And uh, But for the, the big picture, uh, I think the Internet has changed the world mm. uh, of hotels sure. a great deal. Mm -hmm. uh, even how you check in. How you check in, yes. Exactly, uh, or check out. That's right, that's right. Or well, whether or not you get a newspaper. <laughs> or maybe you don't get a newspaper. Maybe they give you an iPad. I'm not sure. We have, we have all of that. And, uh, but you know, the real hotel business is all based upon relationships uh, between mm -hmm. myself and the guest mm -hmm. and my, uh, the teams uh, in, in the hotel. So uh, at the end of the day, our goal is people arrive as, as uh, residents we want them to leave as friends and return as family. Exactly. And how long has this Hotel Georgia been around? It's been there at uh, Georgia and Howe 84 years. Wow. Yeah. She's old. She's old and she's beautiful and she closed uh, five years ago so we've been sleeping for five years and during that five-year time a great deal of planning was done by the local developer Delta Land Developments mm -hmm. and uh, the care of the history of the hotel was very important to the developer and to Rosewood Hotels and Resorts. Well everyone I know who has uh, lived in Vancouver for the last uh, 30, 40 years has some history at the they Georgia. They do. Everybody's got a story. We sure do. And you had a contest, didn't you? Uh, we did. Uh, we had what we called the Memories Contest, and uh, we had many, many people uh, apply, and we just asked people to share their memories. And uh, one lucky couple won to be our first guest, Mr. and Mrs. Murray Allen from North Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And their well, story was? Their story was that uh, Mr. Allen took his, uh, fee well, his lady at that time, to dinner at the Cavalier Grill, and he forgot his wallet. So oh, uh, she had to buy dinner, and that's where their roots were formed. And uh, he was our first guest on July the 15th. Mm -hmm. And he said that he hadn't been back since, but he was, this is now going to be his new home. 
And so he, <laughs> we checked him into a beautiful suite, and he had a wonderful, they both had a wonderful time. I'm sure. And uh, the, the hotel itself, what, didn't uh, Grace McCarthy have a flower shop? Was that the Georgia? She did, she did. Gracie's yeah, Flowers? Was, yes, I think that's where Gracie started. And mm -hmm. uh, there was Jack a Jack Webster of, was there broadcasting. Uh, that's right. The late, great. Yes, uh, yes, and also the late Gary Bannerman was there yes. with uh, NW Radio, and uh, mm -hmm. they had the studio there. That's right, There's and they a had lot. that bar. Yes, they had the bar. And then the George V, which is uh, down the staircase, mm -hmm. that's going to uh, be opening sometime in the uh, late really? part of this year and early next year as Prohibition, which is going to be a, uh, a special uh, lounge with live entertainment and music. So, oh, great. Because UBC students hung there, didn't they? Oh, they a sure lot. did. They sure did. And, uh, of course, all those UBC students uh, are now you know, grown up and in mm -hmm. businesses and all over the world, mm -hmm. so we hope them they're going to certainly come you back. You bet. Yeah. What about sightings in the lobby? I was staying at the Stanford Court in San Francisco many moons ago, walked into the lobby, Truman Capote was there. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Now, if you walked into the lobby of the Georgia uh, many moons ago, Nat King Cole, Kate Hepburn, or did she ever hang in the lobby? Oh, I think she did. Matter of fact, I think she was part of the... Uh, the uh, room service uh, development in hotels years ago. I'm talking in the 40s right. because she stayed at the Georgia and uh, she actually wanted room service in her room. And in those days, room service really wasn't an important thing, but she kind of made it that way. Really? So, uh, yeah, she definitely was uh, a part of that history of the hotel. Elvis Presley was there in 1957. Um, yeah, the, the Georgia Hotel book, which I know you have a copy mm -hmm. of, has many, many stories of Hollywood North, uh, which Absolutely. Was well, Empresario Hugh Pickett, the late Hugh Pickett, everybody's late. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're all gone. But that said, he was a great friend of Catherine Hepburn's, he as was. you know. And yeah. Catherine didn't want to eat in the hotel restaurant. She wouldn't eat there. That's right. Yeah. Not well, a chance. And Ivan Acri from the Orpheum Theater, right. he used to uh, bring a lot of people over to the Georgia. Mm -hmm. so. And the, the racial barrier. Uh, the Georgia is one of the first hotels, I believe, That's to right. say if you're black and uh, an entertainer, yes. you can stay here. That's right. And E.W. Hudson, one of the uh, famous hotel managers of mm -hmm. all time in Vancouver, he actually uh, brought uh, Nat King Cole over to the hotel and kind of broke that barrier. So yes. that was, I believe, in the mid-40s. Sure, because people who weren't alive then don't know, but perhaps they do, yes. that uh, if you weren't white. That's right. You That's had to right. stay out of town in a motel, even though you were performing. That's right. For all the fancy white people. That's right. <laughs> I know. I know. It's shocking today, but it was then. Uh, so, uh, this whole refurbishing includes mm -hmm. what? I know you have a salt lap water pool somewhere. Yes, yes, we do. Well, the refurbishment has been very carefully done uh, to bring it back to the 1927 era, but modernized, of course. So we have the uh, uh, original mahogany, uh, we have the original flooring, the original clock, and but the hotel was completely gutted and it went from 315 rooms to 155. Okay. So, and all the rooms are obviously much larger. So the much. average size is about 420 mm -hmm. square feet. So not the New York closets? They're not, no, they're gone. They've gone. We, we don't have closets anymore. The rooms are very spacious, uh, very bright, uh, spa-like bathrooms, mm. uh, beautiful scent spa, uh, a uh, spa that is uh, next to the fitness center, uh, the laptop pool. Um, mm -hmm. it, uh, salt water is salt laptop, water. I read. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. So it's, uh, it's one of those, uh, for 155 room hotel, there's a lot going on in the hotel, particularly with Hawksworth Restaurant. Sure, he and was here, David Hawksworth. I know he was. I saw know. the show. It was a great show. Mm -hmm. So, And the art, the Canadian art, focusing on Canadian art, how great that is. The hotel is blessed with uh, uh, about a million dollars worth of Canadian art. We're, it's the largest private collection of Canadian art in Canada in a hotel. And uh, uh, one of the pieces in the lobby is kind of an eye-catching piece uh, the only non-Canadian mm -hmm. piece of art uh, that uh, is uh, uh, a very, very special uh, uh, looking piece of art and you have to really see it to believe it. It's, uh, it's well, whose is it? Uh, well, it's, it's a group uh, artist out of UK and, oh. and uh, Patrick Hughes is his name. So. Oh, Patrick Hughes. Yes. And he was here. Oh, was he? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Yes, he... I wish he'd have left something, but he didn't. Well, you have to come to the Rosewood Hotel Georgia to see his, Apparently his work. Apparently I do. What do you do in a hotel about security around a Patrick Hughes, for instance? 
Well, all the art is protected. Uh, no one can auto just automatically pull it off the wall. Right. It's, it's protected with security features. And so with that amount of uh, investment, uh, we've taken a great deal of care and watching. We have lots of TV cameras mm -hmm. to protect it. So, uh, but when you walk through the lobby and into the public space, we have the around 10,000 square feet of uh, social public space for weddings and, and sure. things of that nature. So the art really adds to the beauty of that uh, that space and the lobby space. And if you're a rock star, if you're Bono, uh, where would you stay? Well, you stayed at the um, Georgia. Yes, you'd stay at the Georgia, and we have two beautiful presidential suites, one the Lord Stanley, which is two bedroom, mm -hmm. and one the Rosewood suite, which is a three bedroom. But the best part of the suites are the two rooftop decks on top, which will take a party of up to 60 people. So there's no uh, suites in Vancouver like these, and uh, the demand for these suites is uh, very, very uh, strong right now. Uh, can you eventually live at the Georgia? By, uh, I know there's another tower. Go tell me the drill. Well, uh, the homes at the residences of the Hotel Georgia uh, are 156 uh, homes in the tower. It's a 48-story tower. And yes, you, uh, you can own a home in, in, in that building. Uh, they're beautiful. Uh, they will have access to the uh, saltwater pool, uh, the fitness center, and Scent Spa. And so uh, home buyers are uh, very interested in that right. uh, location, obviously, because of all of the mm -hmm. amenities that go with the, the home purchase. Right. I stayed at the uh, Pack Rim, the Fairmont Pack Rim. Oh, my. It's very nice. I would yeah. like a home there, too. We have one for you, Fanny. <laughs> There's one it's waiting for you. over my budget. No, no, we can. Maybe not. Maybe not. You, have maybe you got not. a small space? <laughs> well, the, or are they whole floors? Well, there's, there's, there's a variety of, right. of uh, homes available. Okay.